day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Like the fact is, if you go back to scripture, we read about what, what David said, I come under the authority of God. And the last part of that verse was saying is the scripture that was, so that you will know, Elder, that there's a God in Israel. Amen. What I'm trying to say is anything we do should not be to get a recognition of ourselves but it's always to glorify God and when you do that let God do the honoring for you not for you to seek honor but that's what people do so I don't want them to say when I say back even back to Black Lives Matter because I just want one day so that as we move forward as we incorporate God into it, we just want to say if God delivered us. Because I know that guy was on the Capitol Hill, one of the guys said we, he even said black power. You see, there's white people out there too, right? <laughs> so, and, and we already we already put down Trump when he, he tweeted a script, uh, a video where a white guy was saying white power. See, I don't want that power is too weak. White power, black power, it's God's power that I'm saying I need in my life. And that's all I want to make sure we understand. But Addison, you had something to say on something. Oh, well, of course, you know, the enemy came and snatched that right He up. took it? So, oh, man. But it, it's going to come back because I believe the Holy Spirit is going to bring it back to my memory. Amen. Amen. But uh, it, it, it all boils down to the fact that uh, that we're walking in the authority. Yes, sir. Of, of God through Jesus. Come on, such brother. as Jesus walked Come with on. the authority of God. And Come Jesus on. is our example of how we are to walk here on earth. Come on, and, brother. And and the authority, if if you have authority and a power, you don't actually have to say you know, in the authority and power that I had. That's yes, why Jesus was so amazed at the centurion, because the centurion said, just speak the word. Speak the word on. And I know that it will come to pass because I'm a man of authority and I speak such and such and the man do it. Yes, sir. So if you just speak, in the authority of God, like we've been saying, it's the authority given us yes. through God, the power, using the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Jesus Christ raising power. Yes. With that, knowing that authority, you're yes. speaking to this demonic force. It must bow down and listen. So that was the thing that Jesus went about doing. Yes, he brother. went about uh, freeing all those who were oppressed yes, sir. by the devil. So what are we to do? Go about freeing all those who are oppressed and captive of the devil. How? By speaking God's word, by doing God's will, yes. and it will be done. So we're not actually here <laughs> to deal with people. We're here to deal with demonic forces. The weapons of our warfare are not current. They are uh -huh. mighty to pulling down strongholds. They uh -huh. are they are so powerful that we speak to the demonic forces and they must bow down. They're already defeated. Jesus busted them up went through you you talking about black lives matter movement <laughs> but, but but you know something we acquired that we acquired that 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 he gave us that at Calvary, right but that in 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 response to our relationship with him and i get back to the thing of submission 
uh, all things happen at this time to glorify him because he's being proven to be sovereign. He said, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Yes. Your thoughts to the great God. So everything that happens in the earth right now is toward the, in, the enthroning of or the coronation of the Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. All yes, things being brought into due submission. So we live those kind of lives and we move in accordance with the leading of his spirit. Yes. Which means we have to stay connected. And I, and I think one of the reasons you speak it, though, you do, Brother Ashton, is because you might have gone, maybe gone a little bit further ahead in establishing your relationship than a lot of other people have. You see yourself as a son of God, and you behave in accordance with that. And I think we have to get to that point. We all have to see who we are in Christ and begin to operate out of that relationship. And I think we'll see the manifestations of it. But any other thing, Pastor Taylor, that we do, aside from that doesn't bring glory to him directly, then is he going to appropriate power for that? Is he spending, you know, is he spending spiritual resources to glorify us or even to save us? I mean, look well, at not, not like this. Never, look never look glorify like you, but, but, but I'm just using examples, but as I mean to interrupt you, was I'm saying is he has and will use if you don't, if this church don't step up, if Israel does, does not step up, he'll use a Nebuchadnezzar. He'll use a Pharaoh. He'll use God will, his will will be done whether the church steps up or not. His will will be done. And therefore, Black Lives Matter is what the vehicle that he wants to use right now because the church can't get his act together, then that's what's going to happen. And he's going to move because that thing is moving throughout the whole world. People are protesting throughout the whole world saying, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous and it got to work. And God said to the church, I'm telling you, say the church ain't stood up. The church is not standing up. And until it stands up, it's not God who will use anything, brother. Chris, can I ask you, Chris, I know he'll anything. use anything to, to, he can use anything to offset the injustice, right? Or to correct yes, sir. But will that bring glory to him? Well, this is how it brings glory to him. Bring it all the way home. You're a father. Come on. You have your children. Come on. They have access to your resource. Do they ask? Really? Do they ask to, to walk in the authority that you've given them? No. They just walk in it. Now, when they go outside the home Ooh. and they do things outside the home, as long as it lines up with what you agree with and what the rules and stuff that you establish for your household and their upbringing, you're fine with it. Yes, sir. You really are. And matter of fact, if you see them supporting the community in a good way and it's positive, you'll give you actually give more resources toward that. You'll 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 get behind that. You'll support it. You'll do things for them. You know that 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 you had not planned to do, but because you see good in it, you support it. You get behind your children and support it. So no different is God. If God sees you doing something good that lines up with the way that He lives, the way that yes, He He yes. has brought you up, yes, sir. and it agrees with that spirit, He's going to be behind it. So if Black Lives Matter. <laughs> then black lives matter. matter. So if, if if God, being a God that is just, and if all lives matter, no different than me saying to that, that gentleman, if all lives matter, then black lives matter, period. What's the scripture say? So then, he's no respecter of person. No, right? he's not. That's the I, whole I, point. What I've seen is that Satan has deceived us. Yes, sir. And he has pitted us against each other. Yes, sir. Made, as though we are each other's enemies. Yes, sir. The adversary is Satan himself. And yes, when sir. Christ is in the fight, then it becomes a lot more obvious that we're dealing with the devil deceiving men to destroy them. Because it, it, at the end of the day, have we more concern for black lives than we have for white lives? Well, the you know, point I, th I think the point I think yeah. out is the fact is that when the church operates, the gas and well, I think we'll make sure we walk away with when the church operates under the authority, under the will of God, then that's where that's when things happen. For example, what was Jared Farwell Jr. operating under, Chris? 
What was he operating under? Yeah. He was operating under the doggone lust, greed, sloth, envy, all Come of on. the seven deadlies. Come on. You see what I'm saying? See, see yeah, how I say? I think that's the problem with the church. As long as the church operates under a different authority, under the small G's, the church is not going to be as effective any other way. The church shouldn't be, the Christian church, the evangelical shouldn't be talking about against Black Lives Matter because they should say, yes, their lives matter. In accordance with the to say, yes, yes. Yes. I'm this trying to play what, that what, racist. What I'm huh? Go ahead. Well, well, I was just saying, what I'm getting in my spirit is that the enemy has gotten us so caught up into semantics. Yeah. And I think this is his new form of attack on society. Right. So that if we disagree, we could be saying the same thing. Yes. No different than all lives matter, black lives matter. They're both the same exact thing. We're not saying when black lives, when, when people that support black lives matter and they say black lives matter, they're not saying all other lives don't matter. Exactly. But that's what these people are hearing. That's and that's what, what the hear. enemy is using to attack back. Right. So yeah. then with people who say black lives matter, we get so caught up into black lives matter that we forget that white lives matters too and it becomes not a support of black lives but an attack on all other lives yes sir that is the semantic that that we get caught up into so we're not only trying to make people of color lives just as valuable we're trying to attack those who are not of color and then in that attack is what causes a reaction and that's exactly what the enemy wants he wants confusion he wants division he wants something for people to have to hold on to not agree so right. if we can find a common place and we stick with that Jesus. then we shall overcome Jesus. Yeah. But, Jesus but in my mind's eye all I see is how the other people say, how we you know what the other side thinks, you know, and, and then what we think because I feel the same way. Sometimes I get caught up into, you know, I agree with them chasing this guy down and 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 beating him and pummeling him because he did something to a black person. But is that God? No. You know, and, and that's where I gotta pull back. And so then it's it's like okay well we have to make the the point that black lives matter but just saying that doesn't do anything right it really doesn't because we can say a whole lot of stuff and if there's no power and authority behind it there is no change that's going to take place so which gets us back to god who is the authority and the power that's needed to, to actually establish something that's going to make a difference in this world because he's already done that, then we have to incorporate that in this somehow. And so that, us, us, being, us being Christ-like, we must go in that manner and we must say that in the authority we don't have to say in the authority but we walk in the authority and we bring clarity to all these situations by talking according to the word showing yeah. uh, the grace of god by showing the love of god by 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 speaking god's word come on now as it relates to these situations and circumstances that we find ourselves in on a daily basis and outside of that, there is coming. no progress that's going to be permanent, that's going to last. Because you even look at, look at what MLK does. This man brought, well, he, it wasn't just him either. He was just the focal point. But that movement was, was grounded on biblical principles. Yes, sir. And on practices that lined up with God's word. 
Yes, and sir. it made a difference. Amen. But 